I think the most critical concept to get with, uh, with a calendar builder is whether you're going to be interacting on a client-side calendar or a server-side asynchronous calendar. What this means is, if you look at the FileMaker server-side example, what this means is as you, this is a server-side asynchronous, so now if I move this on here, take a look at um, the start time here. It's 11 7, 11 45 a.m. 1 45 a.m. If I move this to 1 a.m., you can see it automatically changing down here. And that's just coming from any, you know, this, this file can be anybody's file. I'll show you how to create a new one in a moment. So then the opposite way of working on that is using what's called the FileMaker client side script. And so the way that works is, if I go into an event to edit the event, if I double click on it, it relaunches a script inside FileMaker. I get to change it to whatever I want to change it to. Format it however I want to format it. All right, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna change this color to red and make it big just so it reflects its title. I'm gonna click done. And you'll see only that event's gonna update and it's gonna automatically draw on the screen. There's no automatic, there's no refreshing of all the events, there's no redrawing the calendar, it just updated. Um, so that script runs automatically. So those are, that's the two ways of working. And there are advantages and disadvantages to both. If you want a, there are advantages and disadvantages to each. If you want a, uh, an interactive experience within FileMaker, you'll probably be using the client side script. If you're deploying this on website or in FileMaker Go or something like that, you would probably use server-side async. So remember, what happens is with, with really both of these, but primarily the client-side script, is that you get to run whatever script you want, and you get to control what happens when you double-click this. So you're not just limited to running the script uh, you know, to, to opening up this particular window. This is my sample window. This window can look any way you want. It can go through a series of things. It can do uh, repeating events. It can uh, assign it a, a category like temporary, for example. This is waiting for approval type of edit. You can do anything you want in here. This is entirely up to you as a developer.